Mega Man Fully Charged issue number one. This is by Boom Studios. So I'm a big fan of Mega Man. I will say that I'm a bigger fan of Mega Man outside media than the actual games. I do enjoy the games. Like, uh, let's not, you know, get that wrong. I, I am a fan of the Mega Man games, especially the old classic NES games. But I actually prefer, like, the cartoons, the manga, and all that stuff more <laughs> than I enjoy the actual game. Uh, I was a huge fan of the Mega Man Master Mix I've basically reviewed every issue of that on this channel so far. I think that series is dead, though, because it's been, I think, two years since the last issue. Even though it, I, as far as I know, I, there was never a message of it being canceled. Uh, I never, I mean, it's been, it's been over a year since the last issue. So I think it's pretty much done, which is really a shame because that series is awesome, man. I saw this and I thought, you know what, I'll check it out. It's not by the same studios. The Mega Man Master Mix was by Udon. This is by Boom. So it's two separate publications. And uh, this one is based off the Fully Charged TV series, which I haven't checked yet. I have kind of like looked at screenshots and a couple of clips, and it just didn't really interest me. So, yeah, I haven't, I'm not familiar with that version of Mega Man. But I decided, you know what, Mega Man comic... I need some new comics to read. Let's check it out. And I will say this. I am pretty disappointed. Um, I'm just, I'm not a fan of the direction that they went with this. So we'll, we'll, we'll jump right in. I'll say this. The artwork is good, but not good for this series. And by that, I mean, like, the artwork is it, stylized as its own style. It, the, the artwork, the colors is kind of good, though. I do feel like it's a... It uses too much of the same colors that it kind of just nothing really pops. It kind of has just this. I don't know how to explain. It. I'm, I'm I'm more of a writer than an illustrator, <laughs> so um, it's hard for me to kind of explain uh, illustrations and artwork and stuff like that. But it feels like everything just kind of blends together. Um, there's no contrast. There's no pop and. This feels like something out of like a dystopian series. Like this is something that I would see out of like a Blade Runner comic or uh, like some other kind of psych, you know, if Cyberpunk 2077 was going to get a, a comic book adaptation, I would, I, I would assume I would see something like this. This is not Mega Man. Like here, here, here's a screenshot of Mega Man Master Mix. Like, look at that. Look at that. Just like the, the, the bright colors, the the contrast, like the way the images kind of pop and just like I fell in love with that series mostly because of the artwork. The story itself was okay, but the artwork was just oh my god! The sh you know chef kiss. The artwork was amazing, and then I go to this and everything just looks kind of muddled and muddy and just uh, it's just it's not Mega Man. Again, the artwork is okay and it works. For a certain genre in a certain series. It'll work for like a dystopian, cyberpunkish kind of series. Not Mega Man. And I know Mega Man in this is supposed to be a bit more dystopian, but I just I don't I don't want this Mega Man. <laughs> like so we we got uh, the Silicon City where there's silver unrest. So I'm wondering if they're trying to pull in um kind of you know I don't want to even say, that. I guess BML stuff, the protesting, the rioting. I wonder if they're trying to pull in some of that for this, like, you know, modern day kind of stuff. We got civil unrest, we got protesting, we got rioting, uh, we got Mega Man in the spotlight. And then we move on to another part of the, uh, you know, the outskirts of the city where we have Dr. Light. And I'm not a fan of this design of Dr. Light at all. And I'll, I'll, I'll talk about that in a little while. But Dr. Light basically goes to i guess where the uh, the robot haven is so i guess robots are kind of outlawed even though some of them still kind of work in the city or at least they work for dr light i don't know i i, I think i might need to read a little bit more like you know future issues to kind of fully understand what exactly is going on but anyways he, he's going to meet these like robots and he wants to broker a peace deal and they force him to kneel and then they basically uh their leader who well, again like cool design not really a Mega Man series though. Like this, this would be cool in like some other kind of series, but just not for Mega Man. 
Anyways, he decides he's going to make uh, Dr. Light a martyr and he's going to kill him. When Mega Man shows up, and here's Mega Man. And uh, all we can think of is like, is that Robert Patterson? <laughs> like that face it looks like Robert Patterson. It's like, damn, dude, you, you got Batman and you got Mega Man? Jeez. But I, I hate this design. Like Mega Man just looks like a twig. He looks like if I were to grab his one of his limbs, I can easily just snap it in two. <laughs> like at least in Master Mix and the old comics and anime and old games and stuff like that. Mega Man's a kid. He's small and stuff like that. But at least his arms are kind of thick. I mean, child Mega Man has thicker arms than teenage Mega Man. <laughs> so, yeah, this is our new Mega Man. Like, look at how they massacred my boy. This is just, I don't care for this. It just, it, this isn't working for me. Anyways... Mega Man kind of makes short work of the scrubs. And I was like, okay, you know, Mega Man looks kind of weak. But at least, you know, he's able to to hold his own and stuff like that. And then all of a sudden it's like, wait, nope, never mind. <laughs> he gets beat pretty quick by uh, by the leader, Skull Man. The Skull Man pretty much uh, infects Mega Man. Or he shows Mega Man like a vision. And Mega Man's unsure of, is this the future? Is this the past? Is this the robot wars? Why am I in it? Was I a part of the Robot Wars? Uh, and it kind of sets little seeds. Like, was Mega Man a, a soldier? And then Dr. Light captured him and, like, reprogrammed his brain or something? I don't know. Maybe the actual TV series will explain it. Though I feel like the TV series is a lot more cheerier. Again, I haven't seen it. But just from what I've looked, even the design is different than this. The The Mega Man design is a lot... It, it's, it's like a mix of this with the old school Mega Man. So it still has, like, a childlike look to it. This just looks like they basically said, hey, how can we make Mega Man dark and gritty? Let's do that. <laughs> it doesn't work. Like, Mega Man should be bright and colorful and optimistic and and stuff. And this just, yeah. Anyways, then we got Dr. Light. And Dr. Light actually beats up the robot leader that Mega Man couldn't. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm just like, really? I thought this was a Mega Man series, not a Dr. Light series. Why is Dr. Light one-shotting... <laughs> The main villain. Meanwhile, Mega Man's doing nothing. He's getting his ass kicked. And, like, why does Dr. Light look like a bigger action hero than Mega Man? Dr. Light is supposed to be, like, a short, fat-looking dude who kind of looks like Santa Claus. That's that's Dr. Light. Why does Dr. Light look like some kind of, like, old-school lumberjack, beefy, muscular dude who's beating up robots that Mega Man can't? <laughs> what is this? Oh, but yeah, that's, there's more, but I'm not going to like spoil any of this. And I figure this is enough to kind of do this review for, but I'm not a fan. I, again, the artwork is okay. Just not for a Mega Man. The artwork would be perfect for something else. Just not Mega Man. The design, the, like the style is not, it doesn't work. Like I don't like Mega Man's design. I don't like his skinny, like, Robert Patterson kind of teeny bopper look. I prefer the more classic old school Mega Man look. Uh, I'm not a fan of Dr. Light basically being a muscular dude. Like, he, he literally looks like an action hero more than our hero does. The Skull Man design is cool, but it's not Mega Man. The whole silver unrest dystopian dark kind of gritty just doesn't work for me i don't want that in my mega man so yeah i don't care for this at all i don't know you guys tell me what you think i mean i'm sure maybe there are some of you out there who have actually seen fully charged and maybe this works for you i can't i can't you know give my opinion on that so maybe you'll enjoy this if you liked fully charged I can't say because I haven't seen that series. If you want a darker, grittier Mega Man, like if you ever woke up one day and like, you know what? This is what I want a Mega Man. I want to see a Mega Man like in a darker, grittier setting. And I want like a lot of modern day, um, you know, social, political talks in my series. Then maybe this is for you. But for me, I don't want this. I want Master Mix. I want... I want the old school Mega Man. I want happy. I want optimistic. 
I want bright and colorful. I want almost Saturday morning cartoon Mega Man. I don't need gritty Mega Man trying to battle robots with silver, civil unrest and Dr. Light, you know, getting into the fray and beating up the, the bosses that Mega Man gets his ass kicked by. <laughs> like, so this is a pass for me, but that's just one guy's opinion. Anyway, do you guys tell me what you guys think? Yeah, do you guys like this? Do you guys like this direction for Mega Man? Is the series like this at all? Like the, the actual TV show? Or is the TV show more of the old school kind of Mega Man? Because from what I've looked, it looks like it's more of like a children's show. And this looks more like it's just kind of perverting that. Maybe perverting is not the right word to use. But it looks more like it's twisting that to fit more of like an adult audience. And it just, for me, doesn't work. But uh, you guys tell me what you guys think. If you guys haven't already, please subscribe. Hit the bell for notification. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And if you didn't enjoy the video, thank you for watching this far. But I hope to see you guys next time. Take care, everybody. Later.